Hi, I'm Steve Carstensen from Premier Sleep. I'm going to tell you some things that a lot of people know something about, but sometimes we need a little reminder. Let's talk about sleep hygiene. What does that mean? That means getting yourself ready for a good night's sleep. It's really easy to think about, well, let's stay away from caffeine. I don't have coffee or chocolate too late in the night, in the daytime for some people. That's very true. You have to listen to your body about that and see, well, how sensitive are you to caffeine? But did you know that red wine is also a problem for you? Red wine is a healthy thing for to take as small doses. I'm a big fan of that one. But if you have a glass of wine with dinner, that's fine. If you have a glass of wine just before bedtime, however, it disrupts your sleep. Other kinds of alcohol are even more profound about that. So be very, very careful about alcohol any time closer than two hours before it's time to go to sleep. You might also make sure that you have a good clean bedroom. I'm a big fan of HEPA filters in the bedroom so you got good clean air to, to breathe. Make sure it's cool enough in your bedroom. In the wintertime, we tend to warm our houses up, but we need to be cooled off in the nighttime when we sleep. Our bodies go through a low temperature zone as part of normal, healthy sleep. You want to make sure that you don't have a screen on. Now, this is another thing a lot of people know is they're not supposed to be using their laptop, their phone, their, their tablet, and even the television in a bedroom. You know what? There's a reason for that. That's, that's true stuff. If you get your mind all engaged in an invigorating project before you go to sleep, it may not be ready to turn off. If you watch things on TV that upset you, that's not a good restful way for your brain to be ready for sleep either. So make sure what you do just before bedtime is a calming thing. It's great if you can read something that gives you some peace of mind. Do some mindful meditation if, you, if that's what you like to do. Just sit and think about all the successes of your day. Don't think about the bad things. Think about the good things for the day and close your day out with a positive frame of mind. So, and then when you're ready for sleep, your brain will go through those nice sleep cycles and you'll wake up feeling much more refreshed.